catch and release fishing. Fine, right? It doesn't kill them. Fish breathing on the end of the hook? Don't worry, that's just a natural automatic response and it doesn't mean they're conscious or anything. Yikes, do we need to talk about this one. Hey friends, Serena here. Welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new, I've been vegan since birth and I teach people about veganism and help empower people to live as ethically and sustainably as possible in our extremely complicated world. The topic of whether or not fish can feel pain is still a much debated topic. So today we're gonna take a look at what the data and evidence actually say about their about fish and their ability to feel pain. For years, most people, including many members of the scientific community, have assumed that unlike cats and dogs and other mammals, that fish don't feel pain, aren't very smart, and may not even be conscious or sentient at all. I, however, think it's important to note that this assumption actually stems from some age-old beliefs that came about during the scientific revolution in the 1500s. Rene Descartes, often considered the father of modern Western philosophy, hypothesized and then popularized the idea that only humans had souls and that animals, unlike humans, couldn't feel pain, weren't aware, weren't sentient, and were really just machines or automatons that were reacting unconsciously to stimuli. To prove his point, Descartes even took his wife's dog and nailed him to a board and then cut the dog open while he was still alive. So yeah, this is not a guy we want to accidentally still be listening to about this topic today. Obviously, Descartes' views about animals have been repeatedly disproven over the years, but so many of his beliefs and ideas still underpin a lot of paradigms in our society today that we have to be really careful about what assumptions we're making and where they're coming from. Because now, rather than starting from the humble position of understanding that humans aren't the only sentient feeling beings on this planet, we're having to work backwards to disprove all these terrible beliefs from Descartes about animals. We now know beyond a shadow of doubt that the class of animals called mammals, of which humans are a member, absolutely feel pain. The experience and perception of pain requires two things. The first is that an animal or individual must have a nervous system, brain, and the pain receptors around their body to detect and process painful stimuli. The second is that individuals must then also exhibit a physiological and emotional response or reaction to that pain, such as moving away from the source of the painful stimuli. Basically, we understand that pain has a strong biological mechanism underlying it. So any animal or individual who possesses those biological features can absolutely feel pain. All mammals share the same basic biology of having a large complex brain, a central nervous system, and endorphins, and which are neurotransmitters that allow us to actually experience and process the sense of pain and pleasure. Well, guess what? Fish are also vertebrates and have a central nervous system and neurotransmitters just like mammals. This review paper summarizing the literature found that fish exhibit pain-related behavior changes increase brain activity, and that they even respond positively to painkillers similar to how humans do. And this study from 20 years ago concluded, thus the opioid antinosoceptive system seems to have evolved earlier than was previously believed. Even in bony fish, this system shares structural and functional similarities with that of modern mammals. And this study found that fish have 22 pain receptors just around their face and mouth, including the exact spot where the fish hook usually goes. Other studies have found that fish exhibit all of the physiological responses associated with pain, such as increased cortisol levels, which is a stress hormone, when fish are hooked in the mouth or dragged out of the water. And beyond just their ability to feel pain, fish are actually really smart, too. They have been documented making and using tools like this, they have the ability to remember geographical features and locations for weeks, if not months, and they have incredibly complex social lives, friendships, and relationships with each other. So it seems the data and evidence is really all there, yet this debate continues. And I feel like this is just a good reminder that we need to have a little humility as humans and not just assume things about the rest of the world and the other beings that we share this planet with because we're coming at it from a very human-centric perspective. 
So now you know that fish do feel pain, but I know that if you're someone who cares about fish and maybe are still eating them, it can still seem really daunting to actually switch your diet and lifestyle and give up consuming fish or fish products. So I have a little something for you to make it easier. Click the link in the description below to sign up and download your free vegan living guide today for some quick and easy tips to get started. For more information on what the data and science say about other animals and their experience and ability to feel pain or be harmed by hunting or our food system, check out these two videos here. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and I will see you later.